Today on Mayhem in the Desert, we'll look at the 1985 unsolved murder of a toddler while playing in his front yard in the notorious Naked City neighborhood of Las Vegas. The Naked City neighborhood is located in the shadow of the stratosphere. It reputedly got its name back in the 1960s as a result of the topless sunbathing the showgirls that lived in the area engaged in during their off time. But in recent decades, the Naked City has been known as one of the highest crime areas in Las Vegas. However, it was a brutal unsolved murder that occurred in the Naked City back in 1985 that served to hasten the neighborhood's decline. It was just around 6 p.m. on April 15, 1985, when three-year-old Arthur Williams Jr. and his five-year-old sister, Angelia, exited their family's apartment 213 West New York Avenue. Arthur was known around the neighborhood for being an energetic and friendly young child. At some point while the siblings played in their front yard, Angelia sat down on a low concrete wall. She was soon joined by an unknown man that took a seat beside the little girl. As Arthur continued to play on the sidewalk in front of his apartment, the mysterious stranger told Angelia, I'm going to kill your brother. The man then rose from his spot on the wall, pulled out a folding knife, and approached Arthur. Apparently without any further indication of a motive, the unidentified man proceeded to stab Arthur Williams just above his ear. The brutal attack was over as suddenly as it had begun. The attacker ran south down a nearby alleyway to make his escape. Meanwhile, Arthur's mother and a neighbor attempted to perform CPR on the gravely wounded child while awaiting an ambulance. Sadly, Arthur was declared dead after his arrival at Sunrise Hospital. Homicide investigators assigned to the Arthur Williams Jr. case were baffled as to a motive for the murder of the young boy. The children had been playing outside for only 10 minutes when the attack occurred. Detective Tom Dillard of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department said, There could be no provocation for this. The kids were not out there long enough to do anything. And nothing in the hours leading up to the fatal stabbing on April 15th provided any additional insight into a motive for the murder. Arthur and Angelia's father, a porter at the Tropicana Hotel, had dropped the kids off that day at their mother's home to visit for a few hours, as was routine between the separated couple. Arthur's mother, a maid at the Las Vegas Hilton, later took the children to get dinner at KFC before returning to her apartment. Arthur had ventured outside a few minutes before his sister as she finished up her chicken. It would be only minutes later that the attack occurred. The only description of the assailant came from five-year-old Angelia. The killer was described as a white man standing about 5'8 with a slim build, light brown hair and eyes, a slight mustache, and wearing a white button-down shirt. Detectives received hundreds of tips in the days after the Arthur Williams murder on a phone line set up to track leads in the case. And while no suspect was identified as a result of these efforts, Tipsters did reveal that the unknown attacker was spotted lurking in the area outside of Arthur's apartment about 15 minutes or so before the murder. For their part, Arthur Williams' parents believed there may have been other witnesses to their son's killing, with his father telling the local press, I think there are some people in the neighborhood who are afraid to come forward because they don't have their papers. They feel sorry for the kid, but they don't want to put their lives on the line. A local Las Vegas couple, Jim and Rosa Weber, wanted to assist in the investigation in case there was some substance to the concerns raised by Arthur's parents. Rosa was a native of Mexico and spoke fluent Spanish. She and her husband bought a second phone line and distributed Spanish-language posters throughout the Naked City to solicit information about the Arthur Williams murder. Despite the Webbers' good intentions, their tip line did not yield any additional leads. The murder left the naked city shaken. Despite the area's reputation for high crime, children and families did live in the neighborhood and frequented the area's streets. But not so much after the brazen and senseless murder of Arthur Williams in broad daylight. One resident referred to the area as Hell Street after the slaying. 
and at least two families relocated from the naked city in the weeks following the murder. No suspects have been identified in the 35 years since the tragic killing of Arthur Williams Jr. A neighbor speculated about the murderer. I wonder why he didn't hurt the girl. I guess the guy was nuts or planned to kill the boy all along. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Mayhem in the Desert. If you want to find out more about the true crime history of Las Vegas, be sure to subscribe to our channel or visit our site at mayheminthedesert.com to read in-depth true crime stories about Sin City. And remember to be careful. It's a big desert out there.